of the most complex sort, a vast network of interrelated activities that would impress the likes of Henry Ford. Last year, Americans put 14 million clunkers out of commission, compared with sales of 10 million new cars. Make no mistake, automotive recycling is a big business, and some have a passion for picking the bones of somebody's broken down dream car. Brian Richardson talked with some of these companies about recycling. Gary, so you're the guy, you bring the cars in. Right. Some of them are here, not necessarily um, by willfully. choice. Right. <laughs> by choice. Not by choice, yeah. right. <laughs> yeah, a lot of them end up here just because either they can't pay for it or, you know, they just, they just say forget it. You know, some people buy them to strip them and other people buy them to repair them. So someone will come in, they'll see this car and they'll say, hey, I need the catalytic converter and they'll bid on the whole car just for that part. Well, that, and then they can scrap the rest of it and make money off the, you know, the other stuff, and then we have to auction them to get titles. After seeing this 1992 Monte Carlo get auctioned to John's Auto Salvage, I followed this car to see its fate unfold. What typically will you do from, from this point forward? Well, we'll remove some of the core items. Anything salvageable good that we can sell, what we can't use will stay on the car and go right to the, to the mill for recycling. So a car comes in, all the parts, when they're taken apart, and sold individually, how much is that worth? On the average, between twelve and fifteen hundred dollars per vehicle. Let's take this thing apart. I'm ready. Well, first we're going to remove the battery out of it. So we're going to remove the alternator. Okay. Remove the catalytic converter. And we're going to pull the motor and the trance, and we'll go around the doors, deck lid lights, any glass. Okay, so. Basically, in a couple hours, this is going to be completely empty. Right. There'll be nothing left. While John and his team continue to disassemble the Monte Carlo, we find a buyer for the battery we just pulled. But his old battery will have to be recycled. Our battery has arrived at Battery Solutions in Brighton. Justin, tell us what happens next. Well, what happens next is your battery is placed in on a pallet with a, with a bunch of other batteries from other places. The battery then gets shrink-wrapped and, and secured to the pallet and then shipped in a truckload, which would be 40,000 pounds to a secondary lead smelter where it is then broken apart and recycled. All right, so if I have like dead double A's, like a bucket full, can I just walk in and say, hey, here, take these? The best thing we do is go to our website, which oh. is batteryrecycling.com. On there, you can purchase one of our iRecycle kits and they're all inclusive, so you can purchase it. It comes with shipping and everything. You put your dead batteries in there, it ships to us and we'll recycle it for you. After recycling the old battery, we head over to Pack Power, where we meet up with Bill and see what was to become of our alternator. Bill, you guys take these alternator cores and recycle them. Talk us through that process. We get the alternators, we tear them down, we clean the parts, we see what's good, we reuse, what's bad, we replace, and uh, put it back together and it looks all brand new again. All right, well, let's get started. Okay. All right, so we're in the back room, and walk me through this process here, Billy. Uh, we would throw all the aluminum plates in this degreaser, use mineral spirits and the ceramics to clean off all the oil and the grease. And then we come over here, we throw the plates inside the steel shot, we we'll use steel shot abrasives. It'll clean the aluminum, where you've seen how old it looked, well, it'll come out looking like this. Wow, really worth going through all this effort, or is this more about being environmentally conscious? Uh, it's both, actually. What is old is now new. It's no wonder that the alternator is the first to get picked, recycled, or refurbished. The battery and alternator are getting recycled, so let's go back to John's Auto Salvage and check on the status of the Monte Carlo. The car has been disassembled. John, how long did it take you to take this thing apart? About six hours. Six hours. So what happens to the car next? It's all done, ready to go to the mill. We're gonna take it down. They're gonna shred it there at Fritz Enterprises. We've been recycling since my grandfather started this back in the 20s and 30s. The good thing about recycling is when you take a scrap car and recycle it, you use about seven times less energy. Take scrap from a vehicle and melt it down and make a product versus uh, taking iron ore out of the ground and melting that down. Ultimately, your scrap car that you had you know, 50 years ago has been recycled two, three times and uh, another car into another car. Some of the material that we sell goes to make rebars, which actually go in the cement industry, which is the base of a building. The whole recycling aspect of it is the, the steel gets reused over and over again. It comes down to this. Our 98 Monte Carlo is going to take its final ride up that conveyor, where it's going to be shredded and reincarnation begins. 
car comes in the scale and it uh, gets processed, basically pay the customers for the scrap. We pick the car up, put it in onto the shredder, in-feed conveyor, goes through the shredder, gets ground up into pieces the size of your fist, comes out the backside, gets separated, and we send those off to the different foundries or steel mills to be recycled. We don't take them apart as nicely as they're put together, but uh, we definitely take them apart. Catch all the latest auto enthusiast news at AutoWeek.com, in AutoWeek magazine and iPad edition. Talk with us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter at AutoWeek USA.